How we doing guys and welcome. This is our how-to series on Nav's game and we've got two days before the main horde. Um, are we going to hit demolishers on that horde? 128, we need to get to 150. It's, it's not looking like we're going to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after this video, we're going to go and do Bob the Builders today. After this video, I'm going to put the XP up slightly. And I'm just going to continue mining and we're going to put the zombie count up and we'll show you the day 49 horde. So what I'll do is we'll start the fists only series and I'll play this one in the background just doing mining, just getting XP. Because there's not much left on this map. But like I say we have done most of this map. We've done all the big POIs, done all the factories, we've done Dishong Tower, we've done the pharmaceutical building. We're going to come down to here today and do Bob the Builders, probably the last big POI. There are a few smaller places that we haven't done. We haven't actually gone um, and done the whole trailer park. Um, we've got the old western town down here, but there's not really that much to see there. Um, we've done the missile silo. We've pretty much done it all on this map. So it's ready and it's time for us to go and do the new series we'll go and do the fists only series and i'll just play this one in the background because we all want to see i'm also intrigued to see how this base will hold up against demolishers you know with the addition of the new plates it will be very interesting to see will it work will it not work you know so We'll play this in the background just to really test the base more than anything else. We've got a great looking place here. You know, I'm going to take the gyrocopter now down to the desert and I'll meet you down there at four o'clock ready to take on the Bob the Builder. So there you go, guys. We have actually made it to four o'clock in the morning and I haven't actually made it all the way down to the desert yet. I just need to do some eating and some food um, and get a few things ready. We've got the Fates Motel just down there on the right hand side. That was a good fun POI to go through. I have started experiencing some real lag and some funny things happening with this world. So I think it's a good job that we're going to be, be finishing it off. Um, sometimes when a world starts getting a bit older, you can start experiencing some some strange things some lagging uh, sometimes some freezing um, I was eating some food a minute ago and none of the animation was there the sound was there but none of the actual animation was there um, and I wasn't actually getting the benefits from the food so I had to wait until the animation came back and then eat some more just a few niggly little things like that um, which can always be a pain but we're we're coming up to to the desert town now this is one of the best towns in Nav's game look at that we've got the Dishong Tower the Cracker Book and we've got the pharmaceutical building and then just behind Dishong Tower we should have Bob the Builders which is not a good POI for me to be going through you guys are should all know by now that me and parkour don't exactly go together very very well that Dishon tower is insanely big beautiful look at that look at that so we did have a bit of an issue where we um Crash the gyrocopter on the way here, but that's nothing new. Right. So Joe Bros Builders, not Bob the Builders, but I prefer the name Bob the Builders. Very interesting. So we're going to try our best to go through here. Take that. I can remake the bandage I've just used. There we go. I've got the M60 for backup. 
I have got the junk turret, but I didn't actually bring any extra junk, tur junk turret ammo. So we're a little bit low on the old ammo, so anything I can scrap, I will be doing. There's a lot of builder zombies in here. A hell of a lot. Fatality. Ooh. I'm quite happy to get these ones woken up. One thing I do need to do. grab one of these splints. A big possibility of me falling off and breaking my leg. Steel fire axe. Not need that. Oh hello. I wasn't expecting you to actually make it up. All of this, and we haven't even started the POI properly yet. Right, now that seems a little quieter now. Any loot in here? The food. Ah, we have got a safe. Now, I've got a couple of lockpicks on me. There we go, two lockpicks. Okay, well, we're going to take that. We can sell that off to the trader. Not that we actually need any more dukes. We don't really have much else to buy. A tier six. Oh, we've got another safe. Tier 6 uh, baseball bat would be really nice. And we're out of lot picks. There we go. Okay, okay. Could be a lot worse. Oh, we've got a hidden little plug down here. Yeah, a bit of banging about. Right, let's just empty our empty our inventory and get on with this quest properly. Now there is a lot of resources here. A lot. All this stone. It's a lot. Hell of a lot of resources. Right, so we do actually start on top of caravan. Once again, I didn't actually bring my summer clothes. That's a poor show by me, but yeah, here we go. It's pulling your leg, mate. Ooh, come on. You still going? You've got no leg! And you're hitting me with one arm. Things are no joke up here at all. I think we're going to have to... start being a little bit more serious with these guys. A lot of runners. Can you make it to us? Yep. One bonus that we do have is that it's very, very tricky around here for them to actually get to us because I don't even believe that's the right way to go. No, we're meant to be going over there. If we follow the lights, these guys have fallen down. You do normally get to a point where you've got so many builder zombies. Come on. 
have fallen down. They start trying to take the building apart. Right. So I'm not going to be looting all of this because there is there is no point. We don't need a lot of it. You, like I say, you could get a lot of resources from all of this. A lot of building materials. I don't want to fall and break my leg, so we're just going to... Right. Follow the lights. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Oh, oh come on. I swear the hitbox is. where the hitboxes have started going a little bit. Do we have any lights? Right, we've got a ladder up there. Very clever POI, this. Very, very clever. See us having to start using the M60 a bit. Because these guys are not dying that easy at all. And they're literally waking up as soon as we get to the get to their area. Look at how much cement and stuff there is up here. Right, so Bit of balancing on the beam, try not to look down. So you can see, look how many zombies there are down there. They do start trying to take the building out. Hopefully we won't aggro them too much. where it does it on purpose, tempts you with a little bit of loot. So big shout out to all you guys that have been joining us on the um, stream for the last couple of weekends. Um, it was really the only way that we were going to progress this fast through the series and get things done but they've been good fun and getting a good re good response from them hope you've enjoyed them and the streams have been up there as well to watch back i know it's not everybody's thing the streams but it was really the only way we were going to be able to push through the series okay so any lights? And we're going out here. The problem with overheating is that you start getting thirsty as well.
Let's just see if any of these give us anything that we can actually drink. I put drink down in the gyrocopter. See, little glitches like that seem to be happening more and more often. Box with nothing in it. Right, let's. Goes close to the edge. Another cement mixer with a schematic. We've got a spider over here who walks onto that landmine. Managed to kill him. We had no choice but to get rid of get rid of that, which makes this bit very difficult. We've only got this little yellow bar. Mm. Jump onto. I'm not going to try and shoot you until <laughs> until we'd got onto this bit here. Right, now we've got to try and jump onto that. So line ourselves up nicely. How far forward can we go? We've got a suitcase down there. I didn't bring the shotgun for this. I was going to try and be a bit more stealthy, but that has gone out the window. I do love the M60. Well done. Good work. Good, good work. Right. I have done this POI before, but I'm not overly familiar with it. I had no idea. we got a skill point there as well. Now, I've been putting my skill points into... Fortitude, actually. I put an extra one into there. I'm going to put another one because we get more dismemberment chance with machine guns. Um, but I want to put another one in healing factor. That's where my next point is going to go. I want to use a painkiller. But we're already dehydrating. Trying to make your way down this POI is not not easy. What have we got down here? A backpack down there. A couple of backpacks down here actually. Woken somebody up somewhere. Okay. Giving me everything, bar a drink. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Don't need bellows. Scrap, we'll make some junk turret ammo in a minute. Yes, yeah, so there was a few more bandages. Whoa! I had no idea that that floor was meant to fall away then. Where are they breaking through?
uh, break, trying to break through the, the wall there. Quickly get these boxes. Make sure we're loaded, ready for them, because I'm not quite sure where we're meant to go from here. Is that part of it? Are they knocked through? The light over here. Okay. There we go. So we've got some more bandages on the way. Oh, I hear some explosions. So we've got a light here. Are we meant to just... Are we meant to join these guys? Well, they'll take you out the safe way. You look like you are on your own, though. Alright, I sorted you out. Um. Alright, okay. Hold our way back out of here. There's a door there that's locked, which would have brought us into this room. Not let me put another one on there. Is that the reason why? Oh. We got a ladder there, which was the ladder we came down. So I'm guessing that what we were meant to do was fall straight onto that and then come straight down into that room there. Where are we actually meant to go? That was the ladder. Right, we were up here, we went down there. Was there any other routes to take up here? Light facing this way. No, to me that looks like it's the only route, isn't it? Oh no, it isn't. There's a ladder over here. Sneaky fun pimps. Hey Jarvis. Ooh. So the idea was for him to walk around the corner and if I didn't stand on the landmine, for him to blow it up next to me. Get out of it, you. Come on. Oh, disintegrated you. Because we've got the book. That if, um, that if we stand onto a landmine, it's not going to explode. But you can still get the penalty. You'll still get killed. Somebody else stands on the landmine. Okay, we've got a bit of food there. He came from around the corner. I looks so like we can go out there and jump onto there. Is there a is there a better way? Now that looks very nice. Is that going to be a false floor? Let's jump onto the box. <clears throat> Medical supplies. Seven six two. Please give me a drink. Oh. Only water. 
but it will do. Let's do this. Get ourselves some health back. Don't need the blood bags. There we go. Right, let's put our perception goggles on, which gives us lucky looter. Five out of five. Let's start opening these crates up. Here we go, five out of five. What have we got? Working stiff. Okay. Don't need the anvil, so we'll make that into junk turret ammo. Working stiff again. Okay, some pressure plates. Or a pressure plate. Ooh, look at this. More baseball bat parts. Only one of them, though. A little bit stingy. Car parts. Okay, two schematics that we can sell. And now for the iron reinforced chest. That's a very nice find. That's going to really help us on the Horde night. Not so fussed about the other two. But repairing that helmet. I mean, worth a pretty penny as well. Okay, let's put our XP goggles back on. Ah, so that's the way through. Oh no, that's all solid. Okay, so that's how we could have got through from there. Okay, well, we've got some Muppets over there trying to cause some a bit of a ruckus. Don't bring the building down. And you think you can come on over here as well? I'm not coming over there until the path is clear. Have we not been over there yet? It must have been over here, so the zombies would have been dead. Now we've been, we've definitely been there. Okay, so the best way down for us. Oh, and that's the ground. Well, normally I fall to the ground a lot harder than that. Well, there we go. There doesn't seem to be many, many zombies down here either. Oh, there's a couple. Come on over, guys. Get myself a quick drink first. Quench my thirst. So some yucca.
Why not? I have two cracking. You, des you deserve it. You managed to go all the way up there. And survive. Well, there we go, guys. That was... I wasn't expecting that to be quite as fast as it was. That was my... That was my only plan for today, really. To do that. But it has taken us a bit of time. Not quite as long as I was expecting. So... Really, I'm going to go head back to the base now. And then we're going to spend the rest of the day just doing some mining. So, guys, that's where I'm going to leave you for this one. We take off. Yes, look at that. We're slowly getting the hang of this gyrocopter business. There we go. That's the direction we want to be going in see that big Grand Canyon just there in the um, in the distance we're going to be flying over that because we that's the great thing about the gyrocopter at least I'm not going to be falling into that anymore so yeah guys that's where I'm going to leave you it only actually took us till 12 o'clock to get through there but as you can see loads of resources there and the zombies will be a lot easier earlier in the game so if you're desperate to get your get your whole base up and running or something like that then um it's not a bad little poi to check out open to any suggestions from you guys about what kind of whole base you'd like to see for the fists only so any ideas any suggestions of something that you would like to see made um, as long as it's something that we can actually use with the fists only also out to you guys as well I want to know if you're going to allow me to use any traps for the Horde Knight now obviously we're not going to use the junk turret we're not going to use anything apart from our fists for going through all the POIs and everything else and all the day to day life but what about the Horde Knights now it's totally up to you you can say no nope, nothing fists only 100% fists only or you might let me use maybe just a junk turret or dart traps, electrical traps. You guys pick. That's totally up to you guys. But um, we're going to get started with that series. As from tomorrow, this is going up Monday night. I'm recording this Monday night as well. So this will be going up Monday night, UK time. And yeah, until we see you next time. So next time in this world will be or night and then day one the fist only series take it easy guys see you later